Now, when you bought your Samsung 55-inch QLED, whatchamacallit, okay, it didn't say on the box, optimised for higher primates. And the reason for that is that dogs don't yet buy television, so there's no need to say that. However, this thing is entirely a mind hack. Your TV only produces three colours. Your brain produces the other million. Magenta doesn't exist in physics, okay? It's entirely a brain-produced colour. If you wanted to be a purist and produce an objective television, that would cost billions and billions of pounds, because the thing would actually have to produce real colours. If you wanted to produce a television that worked for every species on the planet, that would cost you, again, billions of pounds. Now, a gorilla would look at your TV and go, that's pretty realistic. They've got pretty similar vision to us, OK? Your dog thinks your television's shit. And that's because dogs only detect two colours, and they're different colours to the ones we're sensitised to. That's why if you ever produce dog TV, which you may have done in the pet food industry. TV aimed at dogs, it has a very strange colour balance to it indeed. If you show that uh, your television to a pigeon, which have five different colour receptors, including one that detects ultraviolet light, a pigeon wouldn't understand why you spend a thousand euros on this totally washed out picture.